Hey, this is Arthur Hill, Senior Technical Analyst with StockCharts.com. Today, we've got a getting started video for you, and I'm going to show you the key features and the key charting tools that you need to know about here at StockCharts.com. Let's get started. So I'm here on the home page, and this is the home page that you will see if you are not logged into your Stock Charts account. And at the top, you can see the different sections available with links on those tabs. And if you don't see those tabs, it means your browser window is not opened up all the way. You can see here I'm closing the browser window and those links disappear. And now we have a drop down at the upper right hand corner that you can use to access those sections of our website. Now you can get started charting right away very easily. At the top of every web page, you have a symbol entry box. And here I'm just going to enter QQQ. And you can see the default is for a sharp chart, but I can open that drop down to select a number of other charting options. And I'll stick with sharp chart. Click go when you're ready, and you will get a sharp chart for QQQ. If you want to log into your account, there is a login link up at the upper right hand corner, and I'm going to choose that link to log in now. So when you're logged in, you're going to see your dashboard and you can customize this dashboard to get it looking the way you would like to see it. I'm going to go over to the article section and there are plenty of free articles available to everybody. You can see John Murphy's latest post, which is available to members. And then there are the free articles. And below you'll see an article with green shading and that is a members only article. On the right hand side, you can see a link for all of the available blogs as well as the popular articles. There's also a box to put in your email address for our Chart Watchers newsletter, a link to all the featured authors, Top Advisors Corner, and a link to our bookstore where we have some really good deals on books. Up at the top, next to the articles link section, you can see the section for Stock Charts TV. And there is a live there, which means there is a live show right now. So when we click on that section, we will be taken to Stock Charts TV. And currently playing, we have Market Buzz with Greg Schnell. You can scroll down and see the upcoming schedule for the shows. There's the shows that have been on so far today. The current show is in red with Greg Schnell. And then the shows that are coming up. We have Market Watchers Live every day at noon Eastern. If you want to see a replay of any of the shows, there's a link just to the right with a arrow and you can click on that link to be taken to our YouTube channel and watch that show. Now I'm going to show you my favorite section and that is the charts and tools section. There you can see that link on the left hand side and if you click charts and tools you'll be taken to a page that has all of our charting options as well as analysis tools available. Here we can create a sharp chart just by entering the symbol and clicking go. You can create a point and figure chart. You can create perf charts. And what's really handy is there's a defined group of perf charts. So if you want to see the market sectors here, the 11 sector SBDRs, just click that link and boom, you will have a nice perf chart. I'm going to go back. We also have candle glance charts. You can enter up to 12 symbols to see candle glance charts for each of those. And we have a number of predefined groups. A little bit further down, we have our seasonality charts. So if you want to know how SBY has performed over a given period, you can use that seasonality chart. Again, I'm going to go back. We have gallery charts, which show you different time frames on one web page. We have market carpets. And we have relative rotation graphs, which are very handy for identifying leading and lagging sectors. Here you can see the relative rotation graph. And we do have some predefined groups as well here. And I will click the S&P 500 sectors. And there you can see an RRG for the 11 sectors. Now returning to the charts and tools page, there's a link for the dynamic yield curve. 
And then just below, you're going to see links for our summary pages, market summary, sector summary, if you want to see which stocks are in which sectors, our scooter reports to look for stocks that are outperforming or ETFs that are outperforming. If I click that link, I'm going to get the scooter reports for large cap stocks. And you can see the strongest ones are at the top. You can click any of these column headings to sort. So now I've got the weakest ones at the top. Now, all the tools that I just showed you are available for free. And just below this section, you can see we have the member tools that are available for members of Stock Charts. We have the advanced scan workbench where you can write scans. You can also set alerts for when a price level triggers or a signal triggers on an indicator. And there's the alert workbench. And you can also create your own user defined indexes. And of course, Stock Charts is all about creating great charts. And you can easily do that with our Sharp Charts Workbench. So here I am, I've got a simple bar chart of QQQ, but I can easily customize this with the kind of bars and indicators that I would like. So I'm going to move to candlesticks. I can change the color. The up candlesticks will be black, and I want the down candlesticks to be red. I'm going to go ahead and add volume separate, and I'm going to change that to a log scale. And then for overlays, I'm going to add the Ichimoku cloud. And for indicators, I'm going to add good old MACD. And once you're done customizing that chart to your satisfaction, just click update and you will see your indicators on that sharp chart. Stock Charts members can also save this chart to their chart list. Here I am in my chart list. Just click Save As, and I'll entitle that QQQ Daily Candlesticks. Click Add New, and that will be now be in your chart list. And you can even annotate that and then save those annotations. And finally, if there's an indicator that you need to know about, you can read all about it in our chart school. There's a link for the chart school at the top, and then you can scroll down the table of contents to find technical indicators, market indicators, market analysis, and there are more links to help you with sharp charts, chart notes, perf charts, and then other articles for scanning and other resources available here. So there you have it. There is an overview of our website to get you started making great charts and making better analysis to help your investing and trading decisions. Thanks very much for tuning in. Have a great day. Good luck and good trading.